Living in New England makes it easy to find a perfect weekend getaway with summer in just a little over a month. That's exciting. Now is a great time to start thinking about our next trip. Joining us today with some ideas along with the latest Yankee Magazine is marketing director Kate Hathaway Weeks. Good morning, Kate. Thanks Hi. so much for coming in. Thanks so much for having me. Look, every time you folks come in from Yankee Magazine, Yankee Magazine is that premier New England magazine that we've all grown up with, and you've done it again with this with this edition. So, so tell us what we've got to look forward to. Yeah, so this is our annual travel guide. This is uh, personally one of my favorite issues every year. I think this is the issue that our readers get the most excited about. It's always one of our best-selling issues. Right. Um, so in this issue, we picked over 200 uh, places, places to go, places to eat, places to stay all over New England. Right. This is also our summer drives issue. So as you can imagine, people are feeling pretty cooped up yes. after a long New England <laughs> yes, winter, even though we didn't get a lot of snow this year, but still anxious to get out sure. and enjoy what really is like the best time of year here it in New England. It really is, and there's so many great places. So tell us about the, the Editor's Choice Best of New England Awards and, and the cover itself, which is also beautiful. Yes, so this cover was, um, was photographed in Rye, New Hampshire by Jackie Greeny and Paul Havel. They're, um, you, many people might know them from their very popular Instagram feeds. Okay. Um, but this again was Rye, New Hampshire, and just really captures that feeling of getting outside, you know, putting the windows down sure. and, you know, enjoying the best of New England. Um, and really those like summer drives. Which, so, yeah. Which everybody looks so forward yes. to. All right, so yes. tell us about the best uh, general store that, that uh, you have in there. Yeah, so one of the places here in Rhode Island that got a lot of love in this issue is Groundswell. Mm -hmm. um, we actually f gave them a Best of New England award for the second year in a row. Um, and they're also one of the must, uh, must stop essential stops in our road trips package. Um, so down in, uh, located in Tiverton Four Corners in 2020, they took over this beautiful historic general store. I mean, look at the photos, just incredibly yes. beautiful. Yes, it's beautifully curated. You know, you pull up and it's tons of curb appeal, wraparound porch, bistro style tables, you know, out front. But when you get inside, it really is a slice of Paris in Rhode Island. <laughs> you know, fresh made croissants that wow. they change with every season, beautifully curated, um, you know, objects to, to bring home, mm -hmm. um, but really just, you know, really revitalizing, I think, the Tibbert and Four Corners and making it a must, must, uh, you know, must see Visit destination right, right. for sure. Yeah, it really is. I mean, even just looking at those pictures it looks absolutely beautiful. Then uh, not too far from there, Gray's ice cream is also on the list as well. Yes. We consider Gray's not only a Rhode Island institution, but a New England institution. Wow. So I don't know if you know, but they're celebrating their centennial anniversary this year. It's amazing to think that they've been making their homemade ice cream for 100 years. Wow. Um, over 30 flavors you can sample there. Um, our Yankee editors, their favorite is always the coffee ice cream, mm -hmm. which we which is associate big. so sure, closely sure. With, with Rhode Island. Um, and the coffee cabinets, which we have to explain to our readers, <laughs> outside of Rhode Island means milkshake or frat. That's right. That's a word that doesn't always translate outside of the Rhode Island borders. You always get that blank stare on yes. people's faces every time yes. you say that. Now, one, sure. of, one of the other things on the list, too, is, is Evelyn's, uh, Evelyn's Drive-In. Yes. So I always think the opening of Evelyn's is one of those things that signals the start of the summer season. Mm -hmm. So they just opened their doors for the season on May 1st. And Evelyn's is also one of those places that has been um, a Rhode Island institution for decades, right. but is also one of those great destinations for day trippers. Um, and they have some fun things in store this season too, including really maximizing their beautiful location on Nanaquacket Pond. Evelyn's is one of the few locations that you can do a, um, a dock and dine experience okay. where you can take your boat dock it and you know have your lobster roll by the water nothing so more New England than that. nothing no, really nothing isn't. nothing and Yankee magazine even just the, the the other part of it too about telling people where they can drive this this summer season is always great as well the photos are always beautiful the articles are always great and thanks so much yeah, for, for thanks being for with having us today. me always so good now if you would like to take a look at the magazine yourself it is already online you can visit roadshow.com